Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the 2018 Minnesota Fishing Opener up at the tent. I'm going to stop up here and fill up with diesel and then from here I'm going to go up to Cloquet, Minnesota which is pretty much on the way to the tent and I'm going to pick up Melissa. Originally I was going to spend the night up there with her and then we're both going to go to the tent, but we decided to go to the tent a day early, so uh, I'm going to pick her up and we're going to head north. strange to me after pulling that fifth wheel from South Louisiana up to northern Minnesota. It was a total of about 1,600 miles. It's weird not to have it on the back of the truck right now. I still, when I see somebody put on their brakes or see a light changing to red, you start slowing down way early because you've got over 14,000 pounds pushing you down the road. It's just nice not to have anything on the back. on the trees or they're coming out and uh, now we're I don't know 30 miles shy of Duluth right now and uh, not very many by the time we get to the tent I don't think there's going to be much color at all in the woods except for the pine trees I'm just coming into Cloquet now they have a super one grocery store up here I'm going to stop and get everything we need for the weekend which will be beef steaks and pork steaks and potato <laughs> and a vegetable. I think Melissa's gonna make a roast, maybe tonight. Well, the shopping is done. The first run up in the spring is always the most expensive. I got stuff that'll stay the whole season. So now it's about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes till I get to where Melissa is. Oh, it's really windy out, 45 degrees right now. Uh, my dad, he's already up at the folks' cabin. I think Zachary and Samantha, are, they were talking about coming up Saturday afternoon to pick up the pop-up trailer. leave that camper there all year round. Yeah, they do. Out here at Lake Superior now, just showing Melissa all the sights. Okay everyone, while well, we made it, I'm going to get her unlocked, get the power turned on. Definitely going to need that wood stove going. It looks absolutely the same as I left it. There hasn't been any animals in here. It's chilly in here, but it looks really good. I'm going to clean the ashes out of the stove and we got to get that fired up. It's 46.8 degrees in here.
Well, Melissa and I got pretty much everything unpacked right now. It's warming up nice in there. The wind is starting to die down. Tonight's kind of an off night. I think it's already probably 6 o'clock or after right now, so we're not going to get a whole lot done today. But at least we made it up here. Today's Thursday. We were going to come up Friday, so it's nice to be up here a night that's, you know, earlier than we were going to be. Villagers said it started with a loud rumble, then houses collapsed one by one as a wall of water descended on the area. Well, it's nice to see the shelves are all filled up again. Got a little girl, she's uh, exploring everything. It's the first cat that's ever been in the tent. I bought a new bed set for the tent. Uh, this way I can bring the old one home and get it washed. And I have some up here because those ones that are on there are getting kind of grimy. So I'm going to switch that out here in a minute. I originally built those shelves to have a TV on it and a speaker on each side. But... Uh, uh, that I never had a TV up here. I never watched would I didn't think I'd ever watch TV in bed But at one time I thought it'd be a cool idea But anyway, uh, this one here used to be in my bedroom Then I bought a big one for my bedroom and brought this one down and it was in the high-low Well now we're not gonna be using the high-low for a while So I threw it in the truck and brought it back up here and now it's all the way to the tent That's quite a traveled TV We're up to 72 degrees in here now I think it's been Maybe six years this coming October, or is it seven years? I think six years. I'll have to ask Melissa. Anyway, it's been that long since she has been to the tent. The real fishing season doesn't start until this coming Saturday, but you can still catch sunfish and perch, so tomorrow I'll definitely have a bobber off the dock. I picked up some worms, and I'm sure you guys have watched the videos before. Sometimes they're biting out there like crazy, and sometimes they're not, so we'll find out tomorrow. I brought up T-bone steaks, uh, New York strip steaks, pork steaks, I brought some pork uh, country style ribs and then some beef ribs that look like country style ribs. Melissa has a roast that she's going to cook. We got way more food than what we need. I did pull my trail camera that's kind of out on the dock and uh, this is when I left, uh, which was this date is not correct. I think this was February 10th or 11th of this year. And uh, I don't know what that is, if that was another deer like we had before. But look at that. That deer head is just like right there. <laughs> and then this must have been windy, or I don't know if this is a snowstorm. This more looks like stuff blowing off a uh, tree. But look how thick that snow is. It's right to the top of the, uh, the poles on the dock. And there I'm completely covered in snow. There again, there's something that walked by. The deer like to walk right there along the edge of the lake, so. And there we have a bird. That's kind of cool. Look at that. The ice is starting to break up there. And that looks almost scary. And that's me taking the camera out today. Melissa just jumped in the shower. It's not too bad. It'll have to do for now. 45 degrees and she's out there in shorts. <laughs> I want my long johns.
last 15 minutes. Oh, you do? It's going to smell good in here. I can tell you right now, you guys watch me do a lot of cooking up here. It never smells this good in here. Hey y'all, I slaved over the stove to make this gravy. <laughs> Her secret ingredient. That's looking good. It does. You can't tell me that doesn't look good. It's dinner time. How are we going? There you go. We got maybe a working car right here. I'm not stopping until we're clear. Clear what? Oh, what? We've just been sitting there watching uh, War of the Worlds tonight on DVD. It's I think it's 11 o'clock or a little bit after, so we're going to head to bed. I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's about a quarter after 5, 29 degrees, nice fog rolling across the lake. The sun is just about to rise. We'll see what happens. I usually have better luck catching the perch and the sunfish in the afternoon. I think once the water over on this side warms up when it's this early in the spring, but you never know. I've caught them in the morning also. I need to pull my boat motor out. I noticed I just hauled this all the way up from Louisiana and the choke pulls all the way out and it's but it's hard plastic so it's got to be hopefully it's something easy that just come unhooked because it would be a shame if I don't have a good boat motor working this weekend. It's 
got this little plastic piece and this has to go between there and this has to go up inside and I don't want to break the plastic. I'm so close to having this just fine, but... My dad just stopped over for a while and we chatted. Get this back together and get it on the boat. Now the wind is picking up. This is actually kind of a poor design. I mean, it's simple, and you pull that out and it chokes it, but they should have had, maybe when they're new, this is an old motor, it would stick in, but there should have been something from here to here so it can't go sideways like that. But it's working good. With my 9.8 Merc here, last year it was giving me a little bit of trouble. Uh, harder to start and uh, the shifting, uh, when I put it in reverse, the motor will jump up, you know, so I, and I'm sure that's an easy thing. But anyway, I'm going to bring it in. It's been a few years since I brought it in. Have them go over the carburetor because I really like this motor. Uh, I think it just needs to be serviced. That was a nice little boat ride. It's chilly out there though. I'll probably go out again tonight when everything calms down, if it's a little bit warmer, and get some nice pictures when the reflections are off the water. Right now, Melissa and I are gonna run over to the folks' cabin. Melissa has never seen the new cabin. When she was up here last time, the, the folks still had the old cabin and uh, we went over there and showered. So we're gonna go over there. I'm not gonna bring my camera for that. And uh, when I get back, I think I'm gonna start up the barbecue and cook up a couple of steaks. So we're gonna barbecue up these New York strip steaks and we have a uh, roast left over from last night. We're gonna have a salad. I'm just putting my good old Johnny's Hunter's Blend on here. Melissa decided to ruin hers by marinating it in some, what is it? Italian garlic, I don't know. Nope, that's too Southern for me.
I think while I'm giving those uh, potatoes 20 minutes or so head start here on the stakes, I'm going to run down and grab another one of the trail cameras and see if we got any pictures over the winter. Well, it looks like on that trail camera I saw myself when I walked out to check the end of the driveway in the winter. And then it looked just like a lot of deer. Um, that, and a couple of that one deer that was going through that snow was up to its belly. It was like that's how deep it got here for a while. A few more minutes I can throw on those stakes. Slaving over the salad. Yeah, I see you went out to the garden and picked it this morning. You're gonna get E. coli. <laughs> Okay, everyone, it's time for lunch. Oh, my dad needs a little help over at the folks' cabin over there um, adjusting his dock. So I'm going to run over there for a little bit right now and give him a hand. You, you, you don't ever see a whole bunch of them in the woods? Right. Yeah, how do they um, pollinate and everything? Now well, we got his dock all leveled out like he wanted, and now I'm back at the tent. I don't drink coffee, but I really enjoy making it, and yeah. Melissa drinks it. I like the smell of coffee. Why you would want to drink this nasty stuff, I don't know. You just keep on making it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> More for me. Melissa is out having a cup of coffee by the fire pit. I forgot my actual journal at home. I, I put them in, I have a fire safe and all the journals. I'm working on my third one now. I'm almost finished with it and they all go into the into the fire safe so that they won't get ruined and I bring them up here with me. And especially over the winter time, I always make sure that, uh, that whatever one I'm on is at home. 
I forgot to bring it up this time, so now I have to do the journal, still write it out word for word in a tablet, and then I'll transfer it into the journal when I get back home. But it ticks me off that <laughs> I have to write it two times. Well, I'm going to drive the loop. Melissa's going to come with. She's in the truck right now. And then we got to go up and get her a uh, fishing license. It opens in the morning. We're just coming back from getting her license and uh, my dad was in here earlier with his four-wheeler and he said you got to go check this spot out. This is a spot where we've had deer stands in here before but in fact my brother John shot his first deer back here but look at all these trees. This has to be from that ice storm. They just all cleared out, just fell down. Melissa has never got to use her kayak yet, so we're going to put it in the water and she's going to give it a try. I just grabbed my metal detector and I'm going to go across, if you go straight across the lake, just to the left there of the island and keep going straight till you hit land, there's a, there's a campsite there. I've been up there before and showed it in videos, but anyway, people still use it once in a while, but they're no longer maintained. So anyway, I'm going to run my metal detector over there and just give it 15 minutes and walk around and see if I can find anything except for shotgun shells and stuff like that. Well, that was fun. I found a few of the old uh, pop or beer can type uh, pull tab tops, a piece of uh, tin foil, which was right by the fire, which you'd expect. And I did find one penny, but I can't see what year it is. So I'm going to head back to the tent now. It's almost a quarter to eight. 
And I'm going to come back here another time because back there is a years ago uh, outhouse, just a platform. It's all dilapidated and rotted now, but if you're going to find coins, that would be a good place to find it. Head back to the tent, wash off that penny. I don't even know if you can read what year it is, but I want to check it out. Just checked my line. It's been out there all day, but the first little perch is too little to keep, but uh, maybe they're going to start biting. I'm going to throw him back and get another worm on. Melissa is in there watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang on DVD. I think I'm going to go in and grab myself a beer and uh, probably do some of the journal. Okay everyone, well, just about time for bed. It's 5 minutes to 11. Uh, didn't have any big supper tonight, just some leftover roast. And uh, like I said, it's just about time to go to bed. Good morning everybody. It's about five minutes after five. It's 31 degrees. Fishing is now open. And uh, we'll wait till the sun comes up. I'm going to go out there and see if we can catch some fish.
Well, they're not biting yet this morning, but it's not. It's just about 7 o'clock right now. So I think last year when Zach and I come up, we went out early like this, didn't get anything. And then I think we came out about 9 o'clock in the morning, and that's when they started biting. It's cold, though. There was frost on my uh, life jacket. <laughs> my fingers are chilly. Just picking a few things up in here because Zachary and Samantha, if, if they stay on schedule or whatever, they should be here about one or two today. So wanted to clean it up a little bit. I just put water on for the showers. Zachary and Samantha, they already left. So they should be up here in three and a half or four hours. And they're going to actually come up here. They asked if they could use the grill when they come up. And I said, uh, how about you guys don't bring anything? I've got pork steaks and pork country style ribs in there. Uh, Melissa's going to make some little strawberry shortcakes. I'm going to attempt to make, a, if I have all the ingredients, uh, a loaf of bread in the bread maker and cut up potatoes and zucchini and uh, yellow squash and foil on the fire. And we'll just all have a nice family type meal. So that means some of the fishing time today is not going to happen, but it doesn't matter. What a great day. It's just nice to be up at the tent again. Well, that's all the ingredients. If my two or three year old yeast isn't dead and the bread machine works, we should be in good shape. My dad has his fishing pole off the dock and it got caught on a weed or something and he wants me to go over there and unhook it for him. leech on the line and he's heading home so he said either throw it back or you can keep it so I'm gonna keep it Where you can dive deeper into TV the seems to work process. good in the bedroom you got a monster fish on there uh. Wow man you gotta say <laughs> a little, little perch I swallowed the hook. I may as well have two lines in off the dock. There's two of us here. Melissa just jumped in the shower. I bought a new fishing pole, but I need to string it up so we're going to go out in the boat later. 
she likes these open face ones. I never have got the hang of those. I always like uh, my bait caster. I just switched out Melissa's water for her with her long hair. It takes two pails of these. And I can start to get mine heated up. I'm going to cut up the vegetables and the potatoes and uh, get those in foil so we can throw those on the fire. I think Zach and Sam should be here uh, within an hour. So. It's starting to smell like homemade bread in here. It doesn't look like that loaf is getting very big though. It's only got 11 minutes left. I think it's going to be a tiny loaf. I imagine that that uh, yeast is probably not as active as it was two, three years ago. potatoes in there and some onion. I'm going to throw in some bacon. Well, we some Tupperware. Yeah, I don't think that I have any bigger bowls. Like I said, this place could use a woman's touch. <laughs> I need a campfire and a fork. That's about it. Oh, I better wash these. You're here. A colander for up here. There's one there. Uh, in the thing there. Oh! Yeah, I do have a colander. Straining stuff between my fingers got old. <laughs> I think our loaf is going to be like three inches tall. Why? Because it's, if that's supposed to be a two pound loaf and it's about three and four inches tall, I think, and it's only got Two minutes left. Oh yeah. What did you do wrong? I'm sure the yeast, because I haven't had to make it rise, or I picked the wrong cycle. Because I don't, I don't know how that bread maker really works, but I knew we didn't have five hours, you know. So you're getting stuff ready for strawberry shortcake. Yep. Garlic powder. A lot of garlic powder. <laughs> I 
Forgot to put butter in there and a half a stick. You got more water, huh? Yep, I do. Yep. I think she's a keeper. She's doing dishes. <laughs> I'm doing knives too. <laughs> Now for the unveiling of my beautiful two and a half pound loaf of bread. <laughs> it's a nice looking loaf. Actually, the thing probably weighs two and a half pounds. <laughs> it isn't that bad. I mean, it feels heavy. Like French bread. Maybe that's what I clicked. Maybe I did the French bread one. Oh, those little pork steaks are pretty tiny, and I, you know me, when I'm up here, I like to cook for, I'll bring some of this home, so, because we're here today, but tomorrow is when we have to head back. I got work on Monday, and the week will start. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. I brought uh, gifts. You got that up here? <laughs> nice to see you. Did you get any fish today? Uh, no, um... Did you have to paint those too? Yeah. Oh, pretty good. Here's the... Pull oh yeah, that's going to be plenty heavy duty, don't you think? I mean... I tried hanging stuff on there, it didn't... Didn't want to yeah, bend. we're gonna be like here and here, so yeah. yeah, I think that'll work really good. The one pothole, I'm pretty sure it pushed some of the stuff. Oh, they, yeah, they yeah. just had the guy in there to fill that in, and he did, did the. You guys all ready for the wedding now? Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. We're we're like excited and nervous. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I like when he goes in the rivers, he finds cell phones. Yeah, and yeah or else he'll find like the old uh, bullets from. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Somebody from the Star Tribune wanted to. <laughs> See, I can't even get it right when I'm not. That's hot. I, I see my first jumping spider. Yeah, can you pull those ribs off? Yeah. There should be a fresh plate there and some tumblers.
where you want to make that rain barrel system. Oh, so I was thinking that would be cool to have that. This one has the same thing as that one. I don't think you're going to need a second one. There's a little plate there. How bad if you guys know the drill? I got plenty of time. I just want to take a bunch more when I was coming down here from Louisiana for because you know. One of the tires is a little bit low on the pop up, so he's going to drive over to the folks' cabin and use a uh, pump it up over there. That's going to be a bumpy ride for that thing. Yeah, huh? it will. George just stopped by for about an hour and we chatted out on the front porch. Oh, it's not a bad one. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> oh, I gotta throw him back. <laughs> Well, it got a little windy and the temperature has really dropped, so Melissa doesn't really want to go out. But I'm going to run out and uh, cast a few times to see if I can't get any northern pike. I got one good northern hit and uh, that was it. And like when George was over, like he was saying, the, the ice just went out on the lake on May 5th and now it's been really cold up here. So the fish are still pretty slow and uh, right now it's probably getting close to a quarter to eight. I gotta start picking stuff up at the tent because we're going home tomorrow. So I think I'll head back and hopefully I can come up here on Memorial weekend and uh, fishing should be better, things will warm up.
Maybe it's here and I just can't see it. I can't see Melissa's bobber and I don't want to take it with me. It's probably sitting there and I just can't see it. Okay, everyone, well, I'm just getting a few things cleaned up. Tomorrow, Melissa and I head out of here. Uh, like a lot of the openers, there wasn't a ton of fish, but it really didn't matter. It was a great weekend having Melissa up here with me, uh, Zachary and Samantha coming up and visiting, George came over. Uh, I just, you know, I really couldn't have asked for anything more. It's 11.30 at night, Melissa and I are going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow we head home. Nice little northern off the dock. I'm gonna throw them back though. Needs a couple more pounds on them. Well, I got the fish all cleaned up and put in the freezer. I was actually going to video that, but I don't know if the video will get flagged now. I mean, I've done that before, but I'm not going to take any chances not on the opening fishing 2018 video. During the winter trip, this is as far as I made it with the ashes because the snow was so deep. I got to clean it up now. Throw it over in the ash spot.
Well, I have everything just about picked up. I'm just bringing stuff out to the truck now. I got a vacuum in here, wash this table, and we should be pretty much ready to go. Okay, everyone, well, thanks a lot for watching. Had a really great weekend. Now it's time to head south. I'll see you guys on the next video.